All right, guys, I'm gonna try to do the best explanation I can on how to change your uh, always on headlight from your international or on road model to have controls. Um, you will have to give up your flashers. So here's my uh, US, uh, US model that I changed the international harness to. This is how it used to power up, but with the new harness, it effectively made mine the international version for lighting purposes. This would be constantly on. Uh, which you already know if you're watching this video because you're trying to eliminate that. So now my hazard light, uh, spoiler, you're gonna lose your flashers. You will use your lose your hazard lights. You're repurposing that for headlight control. Now you have that control. You could turn it on, turn on your high beams. And uh, this is how we're gonna remove the faceplate to access the uh, wiring harness. To remove the uh, number plate, headlight cover, whatever you want to call it. We're going to need a three millimeter Allen key to remove four bolts, which are going to be two up here by the instrument cluster. And then one on either side on the left or on the right side here. And then we will need to remove our combination switch because we're going to open it up and uh, solder inside of the control switch and the grip. Here, you will need a 2.5 for the grip. It's a uh, Threaded one, I already uh, removed it, 2.5. And then here, you're gonna need a number uh, two Allen key to remove. Okay, we removed the headlight cover and we're in. What we're gonna locate is the headlight uh, connector, which is gonna be a four pin. And to identify it, it has two black wires on top, a green on the lower left, which is the ground. On the right, the blue, that is our high beam. So the wiring question is located on the top right, on the top right, which is bringing constant power from the harness. And now this is what that wire looks like. I cut it off and I string tubed it and pressed it in. My string tubes have glue in there. It's isolated. I use a string uh, tube in there so, so that it doesn't make contact with anything else. In short, you could use electrical tape, but I like this solution that's going nowhere. So we cut that off so that now we can add this wire here. I believe it's 20 aug. I fished it through the uh, rubber grommet here, this rubber that goes all the way to the left combination switch. I fished it through so it could lead into here where we're gonna need to solder. So again, we're gonna cut that constant power, which we don't want, and it's on the top right if you're facing the connector this way. If you're facing it from the uh, pin side, um, then we're talking about the top left. And when you add that new wire, you are gonna need to pin it again. I'll link in the description which pins these are, but you'll have uh, to pin it with this and use this weather sh uh, shield on the back so that water doesn't get in there. I happen to have a red one from another uh, set that I had, but... Um, it's the top right from this direction, top left over right. here. While I'm taking off the left combination switch, let me show you one of the downsides to this. And one of the downsides is that that wire I fished through and repinned in here, I obviously can't remove it from there. So this will never really uh, come off, but I made it long enough where it'll slide off the end and I have tons of play it's still being held on by this um, zip tie right there and again we're gonna work on opening this. okay guys we're inside of the uh, left combination switch control and I removed three black Philip head screws and then on the inside uh, this is sitting in there and it has four Philip head screws that are golden color um, I have them all placed here on the floor and then you have to uh, kind of maneuver this thing out and uh, I press in the uh, flasher headlight control. It uh, puts it in a recessed position where it makes it easier to slide out, but you do have to yank it out. Um, there's no wires that are get snagged. I, I wasn't uh, too gentle, neither too rough. So when you remove that, you're gonna access the uh, this switch here and we're gonna remove it. So this is a picture of what your original switch would look like. These are the three wires that we're gonna remove. All right, 
So I slid it out. When you remove yours on the international version, you're gonna have three wires on there. And the three wires you're gonna have on there are here. I cut them and shrink, uh, and shrink them so uh, to isolate them and so they, they don't short out. This gray wire is relay uh, power from the relay flasher that's coming from under uh, the seat, uh, actually from the battery area. If you have the international version, you know where um, your relay is. Maybe you don't because you didn't have to place it there. If you're replacing the harness, you'll know where it is, but it's irrelevant. Anyway, this is bringing back power. It brings it in a form where it flashes. And the second middle pin is where it's uh, soldered to. And then the uh, orange and the uh, blue are soldered at the end. When you push this in, it takes that load and uh, that power and puts it to the load where these two will be uh, soldered. So in this picture, we have what our original headlight looks like. We have two wires on there. The black one is power, the blue is high beam. We're gonna take the power from here. We're gonna remove it and add it to the switch simply to bring it back on the load side of the switch to the headlight so that it's only activated when we flip that other switch. Now on the furthest right, we have an empty pin and that's where we're gonna solder the uh, wire that we fished through the harness so that when we press our headlight, now it's powered on on demand and not always on. Okay, so this is what the finished product is gonna look like. This uh, black wire that's providing power to the switch used to be here in the middle uh, so we're taking that and giving power to the switch. When you push it in, it gives power to the load and the load is just this wire that we added that we're jumping from here to the middle where power used to be because we only want power to go there when we want to. That's what makes this whole switch uh, work in the manner that we want to. We're only gonna get power to the headlight when we want to. We're dictating that now. And then this black wire is the one that we fished that's pinned to the headlight over here. So this, we're soldering to that third connection. If you're facing it from the connection side, is the furthest one to the right. The blue was already there. That was an existing wire. So now when we press this in, we're giving a power to this wire, which is bringing it over to the switch. And this is either gonna be on low and high based on uh, whatever position you had it in before. And that pretty much uh, sums up the job. Thank you guys.